Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing you how to unroot uh, your Moto, Motorola Moto X back to stock. So this will bring it back to complete stock. I want to make a note that your data is going to be wiped, so make sure you do back all your apps, contacts, pictures, everything on your internal storage as well. Just make sure that gets backed up. I'm not positive that get, if your internal storage gets wiped, I would assume it does. So just make sure, even just to be safe, you have a backup of everything. Anyways, the first step on your device, go ahead and go into settings and scroll down and go to about phone. And then under about phone, go ahead and tap on uh, build number a bunch of times, seven times I believe, until it says you are now a developer. Go ahead and go back and you'll see there's developer options. Go ahead and go into them and check USB debugging and hit OK. You can uncheck USB debugging once you're done with your unroot process. Actually, it should factor a reset, so it should be off by default. But anyways, just go ahead and turn USB debugging on. And once you've done that, you actually need to go ahead and download a file. It's a toolkit. To download it, click on the link in the description. There will be a download link. Shout out to Still This Guy for posting the toolkit and everyone involved in getting that toolkit going. So I'll link to that in the description. Go there now and download it on your PC. All right, once you've done downloading the toolkit, it'll look like this real quick. Um, go ahead and make a new folder on your desktop and you can just call it something called Moto X Unroot. You can call it whatever you want, just make sure you have a folder up on your desktop. Once you have that folder, double click on your Moto X Toolkit setup. Uh, you'll see I have Windows 8, so it is saying Windows protected your PC. Just go ahead and click on More Info and hit Run Anyway, depending on if you are win on Windows 8 or Windows 7, etc. User account control pops up, hit Yes. What it's going to do is have a setup wizard for you, so that's kind of nice. Let's go ahead and hit Next, and it'll say we'll create the program shortcuts in the Start menu. Hit Next again. Uh, you can create a desktop icon if you'd like to. I'm going to check that. It looks like you won't need to make that folder, so sorry about that, guys. Uh, go ahead and hit Next and hit Install. Uh, it's going to go ahead and run through, and it looks like it'll install this Moto X Toolkit program on our computer. All right, and now once it is complete, you'll see this Moto X Toolkit icon pop on up. What you need to do is actually right-click on the application itself and go down to Properties. Once you're in Properties, what you need to do now is go to the Compatibility tab, and you need to check run this program in compatibility mode 4 and press select Windows XP Service Pack 3 and hit OK. So that is what you need to do under properties. Then double click on the Moto X Toolkit, hit yes if user account control pops up and then it should open up a command window for us which it is done right here. So it will open up this command prompt uh, which is called Moto X Toolkit. All right, once this uh, toolkit is now open, what I recommend doing is plugging in your Moto X. So go ahead and grab your micro USB cable and plug the device on into your computer. Uh, it lets you know it's connected and USB debugging is connected. So just kind of make sure that that uh, is plugged in. Um, if for any reason this does not work, you're going to need to install drivers on your PC which is option three, so you can actually just unplug your um, your Moto X and then install the drivers and then replug it back in and then things should work. Just in case things don't work, option three is how to install the drivers on your PC. Anyways, we are looking to unroot, so aka flashback to stock, which would be number eight. Um, you'll see you need to be an Android or HBoot, either one. Uh, right now I'm an Android, so that should still work. So option eight is back to stock. Um, down at the bottom you'll see type a choice. So you have a choice and then press enter. Again, I'm going to go ahead and press 8 and hit enter. Um, now you need to go ahead and select your specific phone, whichever model it is. It's very important you select the right one. I have a Sprint variant right here, so I'm going to go ahead and type the number 3 and hit enter. Now, uh, with three, you have an option to download the original or the over-the-air. I'm just going to go ahead and download uh, the OTA, which is number two, because I need it downloaded. I don't have it in, uh, downloaded already, so I need to download and install that. So I'm going to press number two. It obviously is going to depend on which one you want to download and uh, which variant you have as well. So I'm going to press two, and it's going to go ahead and run through, find the file, and download it for me automatically. So I'm going to be back once that is done downloading. It'll take a bit of time. The file size is probably pretty large. Alright, so it down it finished downloading. Now it's extracting all of the files all automatically. So it's great uh, that this toolkit will do this for us. So again, it's just going to go ahead and run through and extract all these files. 
All right, now it's asking, are you in bootloader or Android? So I guess you could just type Android or bootloader if you're in the bootloader, it does not matter. I'm just gonna press Android. And it says your device will reboot into the bootloader. Uh, press any key to continue. I'm going to press a key to continue and then it should automatically reboot us into the bootloader. Like I said, it is now rebooting my Moto X into the bootloader, which is where it is now. Um, and now it's just gonna go ahead and flash that factory image for us, which should go ahead and take a decent amount of time, I guess, um, considering how large the file is. So, like I said, you'll see progress on the phone, you'll see progress in the script as well. So, uh, just kind of be patient with it, let it run through, do its thing. Sending system's gonna take a while since that system file is probably the largest. So, uh, let it go through, and I'll be back once it is uh, nearing completion or finished. All right, so it's now finished. Um, you'll know because it says reboot to bootloader or Android. So now you're done. Um, your device should be completely back to stock and uh, I believe factory reset as well. So I'm just gonna, it's asking reboot to bootloader or Android. I'm just gonna type Android because I have no reason to get back into the bootloader. So I'm gonna press enter into Android and there we go. Uh, let's us know that it's gonna reboot. If your bootloader is unlocked, it is obviously still gonna say warning bootloader unlocked. Uh, there's no way that I know of to relock the bootloader on the Moto X. So, uh, but some people haven't had that unlocked, so you might not see that. But anyways, I'm gonna let this boot up, and I'll show you guys that I am now back to stock. Also, real quick, while it's booting up, you don't need it plugged in anymore. It is done, unless you want to charge it. But uh, yeah, you do not need it plugged into your PC anymore. All right, as you can see, it says welcome. Uh, brings you to the welcome screen. I'm just going to accept everything. I'm going to skip through all this stuff. As I said, um, it did get uh, factory reset. And there we go. So uh, we are back to completely stock uh, the latest variant depending on what you downloaded so you'll see i have no super user in my app drawer or anything like that i'm going to hop over to my gallery real quickly and you'll see nothing my uh internal storage to get wiped as well so i'm glad i did say that at the beginning hopefully you backed everything up like i recommended so there you have it that's how to unroot your moto x back to stock and how to bring it uh back to life if it is bricked for whatever reason. Hopefully this video helped you out. Uh, you can subscribe to me, I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.